Throughout the years, I found it some kind increasingly difficult to receive payments from certain customers. Uh, this is all down to the fact where people don't do internet banking, don't have a checkbook. So this is why I invested in a sum up card reader. So the Summit Card Reader itself, I purchased for £29, it's free postage. Uh, it turned up, it literally took two, three minutes to turn around, download the app, link it to my phone, to my bank account, very simple and quick. So the Summit Card Reader, the transaction fee is 1.69%, which is very low compared to other competitors. Uh, there's no contract whatsoever, so you can pick it up as and when you want. Um, it's nice, it's mobile, it's modern, it's fancy. I either sit in the van, sit in my pocket with me at certain jobs. Um, it takes all major cards. So you're talking any major card, Apple Pay, Google Pay. Uh, obviously you can do contactless on your phone. So that is a real, real bonus. This has got me out of a few situations where it's been very simple just to get a customer. No problem at all. I get my phone out, put the amount in, they pay me straight away. It's plain sailing really. So I would highly, highly recommend this. Morning guys. Right. Today I have it's only going to be a short video, I think. Um, I've got to quote to rewire a church. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's a little village outside the old village where I'm from. Um, they said they had a few electricians in to quote them for some heaters, and they've turned around and said, you're pretty much going to have to rewire it. That is literally all the knowledge I've got of it. So I, um, I'm here early. The lady will be here in about 15 minutes. I'm going to say to her, I'm going to run around everything, then I'm going to say to her, I'm just going to walk around and get some footage for myself, for my apprentice. Um, this will be going on YouTube, I've got to tell them that, obviously. Um, if that's all right, otherwise this will never be seen. Um, but yeah, complete new one for me, completely outside my boundaries, but I did say to her, I've never done it before, it might be too much of a big job for one man band, I know we've got Adam, but you know what I mean. Uh, especially if it's end up, you know, you've got to get scaffold inside, outside, scissor lift, that sort of stuff. It's beyond me. I'm domestic. I'm happy in my nice, nice little house with a cup of tea, talking to an old lady. But you've got to strive to want to try something else. And I'll always try something. And, you know, if it doesn't work, you don't like it, then you don't do it again. But I'll give it a go. So I did say, well, this is what I was saying. Sorry. Um, if it's too much, I will tell her straight away. Thank you for the opportunity. But it is, it's, it's a bit outside my comfort zone. Um, but thank you very much anyway. She said, I'm glad you said that because I've had three other Sparks to come to quote it and they've never heard back from them. Uh, you could tell they were walking around again. Oh, um, mm, not quite sure. And she said this was three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I not heard back from one of them after repeat phone calls. I was like, I'd rather be honest with you. So if it's too much, it's too much. So there you go. So I hopefully will take you in in a minute, have a walk around. Worst case scenario, I'll just take absolute loads of pictures and we'll sort of do a slideshow of me talking over it. Well, I'm here now, a lady just left and uh, she kept calling me Nigel, which is my dad's name, who's worked for her house. Worked at her house years ago painting. She goes, oh, thank you, Nigel, see you later. Yep, I get that more often than not. Church, we're here. So what she's done, she's running me around everything and she just said, um, just pull the door behind you. She said, yeah, you can film, do what you want. Uh, no problem at all. So here we, here we are. First impressions, it's these heat. The whole reason the whole thing was spoken about is these heat is a naff. They don't do a lot. They cost a lot. There should be two there. Uh, they look horrible. And there's two more there. Apparently this one here burns the priest's head. That one burns the pian pian pianist. Uh, these lot cook these people. But they do nothing for these people. Um, so what she's given me is a... She had the quintennial EICR on it. Because that's what you've got to do for regulations with churches. Apparently I didn't know that. They've had a advisory committee so an approved person that does sort of trust uh, like an arch architect sort of thing that comes around and pokes the nose around the church and goes right this is what you've got to do with this 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 so he's given me a big sheet of where the new heater should go this that and the other on top of that they had an eicr done the quintennial one from a new local spark which i know quite well actually it's a good guy he's come around and done fully icr on it unsatisfactory um Everything that he's written, everything else is not too bad, but a very, very, very low readings on the insulation resistant tests and all the stuff. Purely the fact it's mineral cables, MICC cable, and there's a lot of water ingress because it's a very damp, it's kind of cold stood in here. Um, I hope it's not too echoey, by the way. So what's been recommended is most of it pretty much being rewired. It's mineral cable, there's flex here from the heaters, but it's mineral cable thread from the spurs, the lighting's fed in it, Sockets are fed in it over there. 
There's one bit here where they've had new flooring put in, and then the mineral cable is bent out and then tucked under the carpet on the floor in this groove, and it pops out over there. Go into here. Light fitting where we've got water coming through at some point, mineral cable, plastic boxes. So what's been recommended to a degree, the fuse boards are right, which I'll show you in a minute. They're not too old, they're, they're 17th edition plastic, but they're not too bad. The light fittings are all mineral cable, so my biggest issue is getting some form of platform in here to get high enough to them and to them, but then keep within regulations and to the architect guy that the cables have to be hidden and run where they are originally. So you can see a double socket there. You can see obviously water's got in the back of it. Mineral cable all the way up. So I'm gonna end up tucking all my cables behind on these rafters, pushing all these heaters up. The recommended for these heaters are the new IR ones. But they'll be pushed up to the top. Two new floodlights put in. Gonna keep the same light fittings obviously to keep in form with the church, but change to LED spot beam lamps. That'll come down. Um, there's no organ anymore. It's just uh, for show. There's not a lot, there's not a lot, a lot here. You obviously got the switching, so we'll do a similar sort of thing, but you can see it's solid old cables. Change that over. And then Western Power have been in and put a, this is what the lady was saying, three phase supply recently. And a new meter. So we got a three phase, well, three phase or a four pole isolator with the neutral and then three different boards. I'll try, I'll try and remove the electrician beforehand off that so you don't see it. So I've not looked properly at this yet. So heater, so one for the heater, double socket below. What we got there? So they are metal boards. I've had the tail glands on. Henley blocks, old timer. <laughs> so that goes. So there is a few things. The TT system, purely the fact it's a church. Got the old police with a bell, that's cool. So mineral cable around here as well, which obviously go across to the organ, which would then change that. So I've pretty much been given. task to say this is what we need can you help us can you push us in the right direction i've never done church before it's a first for me it's not the world's biggest church so it's a lot less than i thought it was going to be but your guys opinions will be greatly appreciated with anyone done anything like this before recommended best heaters i've got a list of stuff that i can go through pick apart look online for the best type of heaters the best type of lights um obviously keeping what cable I'd run it in. Do I run it in high tough? Do we do it in armoured? Flex? Uh, it's quite a lot to think about. And then obviously scaffolding or a little scissor lift that will fit through the door, move the pews. Yeah, a lot to think about. But this is not one of them jobs that's gonna go, oh right, that's great, can you do it in two weeks? It's their fundraising at the moment to be able to afford the new, uh, the new well, electrical installation on it to bring it up to current standards. One thing I didn't ask, was there any outside lights? So, let's gonna have a walk around outside. Don't look forward to carrying all my stuff up here, to be honest. There's our new three-phase supply they brought in, which personally is not the best, with just your main tails clipped to the outside of the building, but hey -o. There's our earth rod. I would have thought, this might just be talking out loud here, but would there have to be a lightning strip on the side? So, some form of it. It's not the highest building in the world. Oh my God, I am absolutely freezing. So there is absolutely, by looks of it, nothing on the outside oh my god i'm cold i'm cold i'm cold
No, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, sorry. One outside light mineral cable running straight from there. She's there in the ceiling, so that'll be fed from above. Jesus is cold. We shouldn't say Jesus, would you? Okay, right, yeah. Let me know down below if you've heard of any, well, if you've had any experience with any type of church wiring. Um, literally any info would be greatly appreciated. I'm gonna be on the phone to Napier asking their advice, what's the best thing to do. Have a look at scaffold license or what the situation with that is. Um, so yeah, I hope it's sort of an insight, but these things do crop up for me every now and then, but some people, I mean, you would ask me to do this five years ago, I'd have just been scared and going, oh, 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 no, not knowing. But that's why, you know, you've got people like Nate, Nate and NIC, you can just get on the phone, ask them their advice, whether or not, what's the best action, of, you know, course of action to take and whatnot. And, you know, to be helpful. So I'll be on the phone to them next couple of days, see what they have to say. For now, you know, leave a, let, let me have a comment below if you've had some sort of, <laughs> let me know below if you've had any uh, experience with this and any top tips of what to go for and what to steer away from. Like I said, what cable to run it in really. So yeah, I'll see you soon.